Hello everyone, happy 2020. You already know what time it is. When you see this setup, you know that it is Black Girl Magic unboxing time. And today we are going to be unboxing our very first box for 2020, the January 2020 box. This month's theme is Do It For The Gram. Y'all probably remember when that cute little girl went viral when she was like, when somebody was like, do it for the vine. And she was like, I ain't going to do it. Well, that's how we came up with the theme for this month. So we're digging into how social media and math go hand in hand. Before we get started, though, I have a new addition to the unboxing family. This is one of my Christmas gifts to myself. Isn't she adorable? I just love her. So expect to see her from now on. Put her up there. All right. Without further ado, let's hop into the unboxing. All right. So as usual, folks, you know you're going to have your what's inside guide and your caring adult guide. So again, your what's inside guide tells you everything that's in the box. Although this month I did realize after I sent these to print, actually when I was packing them, that I forgot to put the math activity booklet on here, which, you know, brings everything together. But it still made it in the box, so no worries there. But yes, this has all of the um, items in the box. We talk about the theme and how each item relates to the theme. So again, your what's inside guy there. Then for our lovely parents, grandparents, teachers, etc., our caring adult guide. And this, of course, just gives you some tips on how to extract the most value out of the box, how to really make this box fit with your life. It's not designed to be a burden. It's designed to be a fun experience with math and a bonding activity for you and your girl. So please do read that. And if you are one of our continuing subscribers, please join our brand new online community on Facebook. All of the details are here. I'm going to send you guys a reminder too. So we look forward to seeing you there. And without further ado, let's see what's in this box, shall we? So the very first item, ooh, and they are heavy, are these really cool angle dominoes by junior learning so i'm gonna open these really quick these dot these are not dice these dominoes have different angle measures on them um and obviously the goal is to play dominoes with them but at the same time to be learning angles and the reason why i was inspired to put these in the box was because uh, folks like Drake, right, who have <laughs> lyrics about, you know, got to hit those angles. And then um, the other song, I can't remember the artist right now. I think Jeremiah is singing on the hook and he says, you taking pictures, know your angles. <laughs> and so I wanted our girls to see like those same angles that these folks are singing about on the song, in the songs and, and um, rapping about. These are the same angles you are learning about in class, honey. So when you got your, when you holding your phone and you got your arm like this and or you doing like this or whatever it is, that means you know your angles. So that is why we included the angle dominoes. I love these, by the way. Next up. Oh, this is so cool. So this might look like a smartphone. Right, right, right. It is actually, let's open it. It is a pencil case. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Very cool, right? I love this because, again, we always source items that are practical. Things that your girl or you can use right away. What I really was excited about was if you got our, if you were subscribing or got our September school days box, which we have some in the shop, we included these custom pencils in that box. And this is a great carrier for your custom pencils so really love this and again this is bringing the social media theme to life next up to keep with the smartphone theme is this super cute eraser super cute smartphone eraser and again it's called a life-size smartphone eraser because you really can't hold it in your hand like you would um, a smartphone 
and it erases really well. I tested it as soon as they were shipped to my home just to make sure because again, high quality practical items, it erases really well and I know my erasers. I love erasers. <laughs> so these two items are, you know, making this even more tangible for the girls. And these also came in different colors. So this one, I was holding it upside down. This one came in pink, black, and white. So you got one of those three colors. And then this one came in uh, purple, pink, black, and blue. So you got one of those colors if you got this box this month. So make sure to have fun with those. Next up, which I just dropped on the floor. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna say too much right now. Look at that. Your very own custom Black Girl Magic Pop Socket. And listen, this is not the knockoff Pop Socket. This is, you see this here? Pop Sockets. That's the official Pop Socket brand, okay? And I got these custom Black Girl Magic Pop Sockets made just for you, just for your girl. And they are wonderful. So here's mine. I had to take my case off so I could record this video. Here's mine. It's perfect. I've been using it for a while. It takes a beating. And it's just fun, right? And again, with the theme, social media, you know, we're talking about taking selfies and angles and all that good stuff. It fit perfectly with the theme. So here is the current item that we're talking about right now, Pop Socket Pop Grip. Next up, oh yes arguably one of the most important parts of the Black Girl Math Jig Box is our woman mathematician feature. This month, we are featuring Miss Angela McBird. She is an AP and general, so AP and general statistics teacher in Chicago. And she has a brand she started a few years ago called the Woke STEM Teacher. And that's also her name on Instagram and Facebook. So please check her out. And the whole goal of the work woke STEM teacher is to bridge the gap between STEM and social change. And so, for example, she's taught math and science where right now she teaches just math. But in one of her science classes a few years ago, she was using science principles and science concepts um, to discuss and teach her kids about the Flint water crisis. And of course, as a Detroiter, you know, and, and really for all of us, um, that really hit home and, you know, still continues to hit home to this day. So to hear, you know, that there are educators out there who are really helping students learn more about what these issues mean from a social justice standpoint, but also from a science, technology, engineering, and mathematics standpoint is so powerful. And so it was my absolute pleasure to feature her. So this is her bio on the front. And this is our interview on the back. So make sure you check this out. Um, she's just really dynamic. And she also has a podcast, a blog. Her website is thewokestemteacher.com. So thank you again, Miss McBird, for allowing us to share your story. All right. Next up. Every month you get those lovely custom stickers to go with the theme. So got to hit those angles. I love a good pun. Um, hopefully folks get this because Phil, our artist, he didn't get it until a few days later. He messaged me like, oh, I just heard that Drake song on the radio and I know what you were talking about. And I'm like, you should be ashamed. So got to hit those angles. Social butterfly with some math symbols in there. Our character girl um, on her own little smartphone screen. Here she is taking a selfie, a hashtag bubble, thought bubble that says, I love math. And then, of course, our beautiful woman mathematician portrait um, of Miss McBird. Then, again, one of, one of, also one of, another really important component of the box are the math activity booklets. This is the third to fifth grade level booklet, and this is the sixth to eighth grade level booklet. I really was excited to put these this gem jewel background on here because social media can feel very shiny to kids and to people in general. Um, so I thought that was a nice tie-in. And just flipping through some of the 
activity. So as I mentioned, Miss McBird is a statistics teacher. So I found some statistics, some statistics about popular social media sites and turned it and turned them into a math lesson for the girls. Um, also on this page, and actually, like, so a social media network is actually a mathematical term, um, and it just represents when you think of a network. You have a hub and then you have different lines showing different networks to different things. So I wanted the girls to just draw their network and think about, you know, who they have, who they can connect with and who's in their circle. And I really want to just call out very quickly. So as you know, if you watch my videos, I always write um, kind of like an empowerment slash confidence message, final parting thoughts at the end of the booklet. And this month was particularly special because, you know, this was a social media box. So it was about the math that exists in social media. And of course, we're having fun with the smartphone uh, eraser and pencil case, the pop sockets and all that good stuff. But there's a part of social media I really wanted to talk about. And that is comparison and how especially children, you know, can see things on social media and wish they had those things or wish they were certain people because of the... Uh, the way people sometimes portray themselves on social media. So I just addressed that here um, and really wanted to just leave them with some thoughts around not getting caught up in comparing themselves and also recognizing that the grass is rarely greener on the other side. So people just really post their highlights on social media. Not a lot of people are posting their wins and their losses, or excuse me, their losses. Um, so... I wanted to make sure I talked about that. So please make sure your girl reads this. Maybe you guys can read it together and just have a discussion about it. And then last but not least is our math affirmation for the month, which reads, math allows me to connect to the people, things, and places I care about most. So social media is literally just a whole bunch of math happening to connect us to folks, to recommend things to us, you know, those targeted ads you see after you talk about something or Google something and all of a sudden it's showing up on your social media feed or you're scrolling through Instagram and you see an ad for it. It's all math. So I really wanted to underscore here uh, with this affirmation that math is really what drives social media and social media allows us to connect to the people, things, and places we care about most. And then on the back here, is our checklist for the month so again just making sure you're extracting all the value getting as much as possible out of the box and of course i always leave um, blank spaces in case you want to fill in anything else and so ladies and gentlemen that is our unboxing for january next month's theme is it's going to be called i think i'm going to call it love your hair so it's going to be all about hair and math and how they connect. I'm so excited about the woman I'm featuring as I am every single month. And I'm working on it right now. And I think it's going to be another great one. So make sure if you are not subscribed yet that you subscribe by January 20th so that you can reserve your February box. And I look forward to seeing y'all back here next month. Maybe same place, maybe not the same time. The same place. Y'all have a good one. Bye.